Hi folks, welcome to another episode of The Happy Heretic, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this from this. Main kill burn! Main kill burn! Step one is to get yourself a chunk of one inch thick XPS foam. I'm using green foam that I got from Lowe's, but you can get this at any hardware store. Uh, just cut off a chunk, three or four inches should do it, and then just carve chunks off of it until you get something that looks like carved stone. Make sure to leave a flat surface where we can carve our rune later. Now that we've got our monolith carved, it's time for the rune. Just grab a ballpoint pen and carve out whatever symbol you want. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but just something that looks suitably arcane and wizardly. Uh, be sure you've got a deep enough grooves that you can identify the rune later for painting. Alright, next up it's time to glue our monolith to its base. You can use whatever you want, cardboard, foam board, doesn't matter. I'm using an old broken flight stand that I found in my bits box. Uh, it's got 20 year old green stuff hardened on it, uh, but that's okay. We're going to be covering all of that up later anyway with sand. Just glue the monolith down and then it is on to the next step. Once the glue on the base dries, we're going to add some texture. I've got some wood glue and some hobby sand. I didn't water the glue down or anything, I just applied it to the base with an old paintbrush, then dipped the base in the sand and shook off the excess. Uh, I also had some watered down PVA that I sprayed onto the base as well to kind of give the sand a little bit of extra grip, make sure nothing shook off, nothing fell off or anything like that. Now that the glue is dry, I went ahead and coated the monolith in some Mod Podge mixed with black craft paint. I picked this up from Jeremy at Black Magic Craft, and I'm sure anyone who watches that channel uh, regularly will recognize this. Uh, there's no special recipe or, or ratio or anything like that. I just got an 8 ounce can of Mod Podge and uh, added black paint until I got the color I wanted. Uh, this is going to act as our base coat, but it's also going to help seal everything in, and it's going to make sure that everything's bonded to that base really really well uh, just make sure that you coat the entire piece in this stuff once the mod podge dried I dry brushed the monolith with some gray craft paint first followed by a light dry brushing of white craft paint and then I hit the base with a dark brown craft paint. Now at this point you could call it quits and have a perfectly good monolith, but I took things a step further uh, by washing the monolith in a black wash. All this is is just watered down black craft paint mixed with a little bit of dish soap. And then after the wash I went ahead and uh, dry brushed the monolith once again with a light dry brushing of gray and white. And then I went ahead and hit the base again with a light dry brushing of brown just to just to bring back the, uh, the detail that had been covered up by the black wash. For the last step, I noticed that the paint had covered up the rune somewhat, so I went ahead and grabbed a detail brush and just painted some black into the rune uh, to make it visible again. And with that final step, our monolith is done. 
And there you have it, one monolith. Now, I love these things. Uh, I got a couple of these already uh, that I've made. I love them for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're easy as hell to make. Number two, they are extremely versatile. Uh, you can use these for pretty much anything. You know, you can use them as scatter terrain for uh, Warhammer 40K, Warhammer Fantasy, or any other tabletop game you've got. Uh, you can use them as objective markers for maybe Kill Team or something like that. Uh, you can even throw these on the table during a D&D game and uh, add a little spice up to your D&D game, too. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I just I can't say enough good things about these little little pieces of terrain. I got a couple of them already. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video right here uh, for now. Let me know what you thought about all this in the comment section below. Uh, if you liked what you saw, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Both of those things help me out quite a bit, and I will see you all next time.